Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much for the uh, invitation to this uh, uh, wonderful uh, meeting. And, that, and the today's topic is, uh, does total neanthroplasty affect the hip rotation or range of motion? The prevalence of radiographic knee OA in the people's elders and uh, 60 years old is reported to be 62% in Japan, and the prevalence of knee pain is reported to be 33%. The prevalence of the knee pain is reported 33 And the majority of the patients present medial knee OA, and in these patients, the worst knee deformity occurs due to the narrowing uh, of the medial joint uh, space. One method to measure hip rotational range is uh, to measure the movement of the lower leg from the vertical line, which is drawn from the center of the patella and pat parallel to the axis of the trunk on supine position with 90 flexion of the hip and knee, hip and knee. One tester passively rotate the patient's hip internally and externally, and another measure the angle using a goniometer with the stable arm on the vertical line and the mobile arm on the lower leg axis. This is the uh, and, uh, internal rotation of the hip joint with aging. Internal rotation is reported to be largest at uh, childhood, then uh, decreases as the age advances, age advances. On the other hand, external rotation is reported to be the smallest at school age, then uh, increases as the age advances, age advances. In medial knee OA, the patient, the lower leg trend to be uh, positive uh, position inside the vertical line. Therefore, there is a need to internal rot internally rotate the hip to be the vertical line prior to the measurement. As a result, in medial knee OA patient, it, uh, it is assumed that range of the hip internal rotation is decreased and that of the external rotation is increased when the measurement is performed from the vertical line. Total knee arthroplasty is one of the successful treatment for knee OA, and lower limb alignment is corrected by bone resection and soft tissue release. The worst position of the lower leg axis is corrected, and it is assumed that the internal rotation increases and the external rotation decreases after TKA. And uh, in extension, a little bit valgus, and, uh, but and the mechanical axis is uh, centralized to the knee joint. And but the inflection and the uh, AP axis of the femoral condyle, the so-called the uh, white side line, parallel, uh, parallel to the axis of the tibia. This is a normal knee. However, the uh, worse in worse knee, of course, in extension, worse, and inflection, and the uh, tibia axis is not parallel to the white side line. It means uh, uh, worse in, uh, you have to understand uh, worse in extension or worse in flexion. This uh, concept should be uh, understandable. We hypothesize that the change of the lower leg position by TKA would alter the ratio of the hip rotational angle range. To confirm our, our hypothesis, we evaluate variation of hip rotational range before and after total knee arthroplasty. 53 patients with 59 verse ONE were enrolled. Six patients underwent a bilateral total knee with each knee evaluated separately. The average age was uh, 76 years old. Measurement of the hip rotation was performed on supine position with 90 degrees flexion of the hip and knee joint before and three weeks after TK. And the, the results are shown on the graph. Average internal rotation angle and the total of internal and external rotational angle increases significantly after TK. On the other hand, external rotation angle decreased, but was not such statistic statistically different, significant. This graph showed that ratio of the patient 
who are supported the hypothesis. For internal rotation, 66% of the patients supported the hypothesis. And for external rotation, 42% of the patients supported the hypothesis. There is only one report about the hip rotational angle in Asian patients. And when uh, comparing the hip rotational angle between the past and the current study, internal and external rotation angle were both smaller in the current study. It's reported that becomes smaller as the age advances. Therefore, the small uh, rotational range may be due to the older age of the patient in the current study. Also, in the past report, internal and external rotation angle was similar. However, in the current study, internal rotational angle was smaller than the external rotational angle. Medial knee OA patients present the external rotation of the lower limb during gait to reduce the knee adduction moment. If the lower limb is externally rotated for a long time, hip soft tissue will be contracted and consequently uh, restrain hip internal rotation. Therefore, the smaller internal rotation, then the external rotation may be the because the current study included the medial knee OA patient. Also, from the results, all, the, uh, the hip joint was not significantly treated in TKA, but the total of internal and external rotational range increased. This may be because the TK may also change the uh, hip alignment. The change in the hip alignment may influence the elasticity of the hip capsule ligament, uh, which is the primary stabilizer of the hip rotational moment. As a uh, result, uh, hip rotational range may be influenced. In conclusion, the inter internal rotation range of and the total rotational range increased significantly. Further study is necessary to evaluate soft tissue, soft tissue, hip alignment. Also, we, have, we need more uh, cases. Thank you very much for your attention.